Oh, ja, weil du da löst. Gut, wir haben es angefangen. Los, los. Ja, thank you very much uh, for the invitation. Uh, we have uh, these webinars are uh, very interesting since uh, we can know uh, and be aware of all of the projects and uh, uh, the innovations that uh, each project uh, introduces. I'm pretty very quick. Some uh, uh, associated with ASI Athena in uh, Greece. <coughs> oh, this is a brief outline of my presentation, overview, objective, web objectives, architecture innovations, uh, the proof of concept, and uh, finally some ideas for standardization activities. Uh, we are uh, uh, 13 partners uh, uh, in this uh, consortium from nine EU members and one associated member uh, country, uh, five RTOs and academia, uh, uh, top tier uh, research centers and uh, universities from Europe, four uh, big companies and uh, four high-tech SMEs from uh, different uh, European countries. I'm the project coordinator. Uh, the technical manager is Vasso Vasiliou from CIRC in Cyprus. And that's what I said, as, uh, what's, uh, sorry, our project manager is uh, Pavlos from Lugeraitis. The overall project goal is uh, to provide uh, uh, revolutionary research foundations for advancements uh, for the upcoming 6G uh, network adventures, and in particular, to evolve the existing uh, service-based architectures uh, of 5G mobile networks in order to design, implement, and validate a fundamentally new uh, approach for future-proof uh, cognitive and next generation architecture. And for this reason, uh, we adopt a fully distributed AI-driven uh, dynamic paradigm. And uh, we propose some functional elements automatically deployed on demand as virtual function in the cloud native environment across the far edge, edge of cloud domains operated by different uh, stakeholders. We have uh, nine very well uh, uh, defined objectives to design and implement novel 6G system architecture that integrates distributed AI framework for combined communication, computation, and control and empowers the converge of networks and IT systems to enable new future digital services create AI-driven management orchestration, uh, architect uh, a distribute and secure cloud sourcing, develop energy aware models for multimodal uh, representation learning, evolve the cellular infrastructure to allow the true integration of deep edge devices in communication and computational functions, enable non-terrestrial network connectivity for highly reliable industrial IoT services, extend and demonstrate the use of the centralized AI for device-to-device -device communication, support data play and acceleration, and finally integrate and demonstrate the potential of these uh, objectives and uh, solutions in uh, uh, some well-defined proof of concept. As you can see, uh, we address most of the topics uh, of uh, the stream uh, B0101 call. We have very well-defined KPIs uh, for all these objectives, but also we have KVIs. KVIs in the innovation, democracy, and ecosystem areas like safety, security, regulation, uh, privacy, fairness, sustainability, business value. And uh, we are planning to measure them with different ways, questionnaires, interviews, focused uh, group surveys, workshops, and also we can provide some result from our proof of concept in order to uh, measure these uh, KVIs. Now, regarding the architecture, uh, we have uh, uh, this uh, infrastructure layer that is AI enabled multi domain, multi technology intercomputing infrastructure layer. And then we propose three big blocks with several building blocks inside that I'll explain here. The AI driven <coughs> management orchestration framework, which implements the logic for the end to end automated management of the intercomputing and inter domain uh, network infrastructure. This uh, BDI, belief, desire, intention, and AI-driven unified and open control framework, which is responsible for the real-time and near real-time close loops for the network automation. And this, this uh, fully distributed and secure AI ML framework for CloudSource AI that proposes and implements all the AI distributed AI solutions in the project in order to support uh, the other building blocks and the infrastructure. As you can see, the directional uh, communication closed loops between these uh, big uh, blocks. 
Now, about the innovations, uh, we go beyond the standard centralized AI model and we propose a solution that is distributed. Distributed AI domain uh, and uh, we use uh, some uh, uh, state, state of the art, let's say, AI solution, feder uh, techniques, federated learning and decentralized learning, but introducing innovative elements. We introduce the novel concept of uh, crowdsourcing AI to serve the different domains and application. We propose uh, distributed agents in the form of uh, belief, design, uh, and intention agents, and we propose distributed representation learning of application data by using uh, uh, generative uh, models. We are also transforming to a fully cloud native network uh, with security built integrally which can be implemented across the different variety of the edge cloud uh, platforms. And we consider for this uh, a cellular environment, as I saw uh, previously in our architecture. Uh, we propose the concept of virtual base stations, enabling the deployment of uh, network components in the uh, far edge. And we have uh, edge cloud deployment for non-terrestrial networks in order to create the integration between cellular and uh, satellite. Finally, we have innovation in this uh, software-driven zero-touch operation and the domination of the network and the services. And we consider the, uh, uh, the management of orchestration uh, into a fully automated uh, uh, solution for uh, these distributed uh, networks. We have a very well-defined uh, proof of concepts, uh, immersive XR holographic teaching. We consider that the teacher is at home or in the, his office and uh, the students are in the class, they can, work, uh, they can watch the teacher's uh, holographic entity delivering uh, the lesson. Uh, we have uh, also this uh, cobots in construction. We have robots and drones. We will see the robots and drones that need to coordinate among them. And they coordinate in uh, three dimensions in order to avoid uh, collisions. Uh, we also have a, a use case, a proof of concept uh, story uh, in the production line of an automotive manufacturing uh, process, uh, where sensor time actuators communicate each other in, uh, and take decisions, actions in some millisecond uh, time intervals. And finally, we have uh, the um, uh, railway area where we have trackside track uh, IIoT devices and on train terminals that send data to a remote cloud. Uh, then the edge cloud components on the devices and satellites, the remote data center process this data and route the data in order to perform uh, some uh, control uh, actions uh, depending on the communication path. Uh, of course, uh, these are uh, uh, proof of that we implemented in the lab. The, the, the project is very low TRL. Don't expect uh, real applications and uh, field trials. And uh, uh, we have very well uh, defined KPIs per pop. Move this. Uh, the different POCs, as you can see, we have a plethora of uh, KPIs, and we test uh, it depends on the POC extreme EMBB, extreme MMTC and NTN, extreme URLLC, and extreme MMTC uh, KPIs per POC. Finally, uh, yeah, uh, last but not least, uh, we have contribution and we have contribution to the standardization activities. Uh, in the HCN working group, for example, we have this crowdsourced AI solution to minimize the AI ML carbon, uh, carbon footprint to enable AI, 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 AI and enable efficient AI uh, ML training at uh, interference. Uh, we are planning to contribute to the HCN, the STEM and HMEC working groups. And uh, here we're planning to contribute with this distributed closed loop automation in AI driven uh, management orchestration frameworks in a uh, multi-stakeholder ecosystem at uh, this time. We are also planning to contribute to this, uh, uh, with this uh, U, uh, virtual base stations in the computing continuum concept to 3GPP and uh, contribute the proposed UE design to the TSG core network and terminals or to consider the standardization of these BDI engines that we propose in our innovations uh, for self-organizing uh, virtual base stations. We can also, uh, we're also planning to contribute to this 3GBPSA2 group where uh, we consider uh, this NTN CG integration solution for terrestrial uh, CG IoT POC that uh, we saw before. That's all from my side. I think uh, I would 
quite quick. Uh, we can follow us in uh, our social uh, networks. Uh, 